Okay, good morning. Happy May 26th. Um, today we're going to move on to student handout six. So you can, if you have your packet or if you want to go back and find your packet, we're skipping a bunch of handouts because I want to get to multiplying and dividing integers. Now, if you don't have this packet, don't worry, I attached a PDF to it so you could take a look at it. Okay, so let's begin. Um, integers, we know that we've already added and subtracted integers, so now what we're going to do is multiply and divide integers. And just like last time, we're going to use an algorithm, which just means a rule on how to do it. Now, I'll show you also probably tomorrow on the number line why it works, but just for now, if you could memorize this rule, it will help you out. So in multiplying and dividing, the rules are different. If signs are the same, the answer is positive. So if it's a positive multiplied by a positive, you get a positive. If it's a negative multiplied by a negative, you still get a positive. So signs are the same, the answer is positive. If signs are different, the answer is negative. So a positive and a negative will get you a negative, and a negative and a positive will get you a negative. So let's take a look and see how that looks like. So I'm going to skip right over. And I'm going to see here that he wants me to spin. So let me just pretend I spin, right? So I'm going to pretend I spin a 6 and a divide sign and a 3. Well, that's pretty easy. We know how to do that, right? 6 divided by 3. And we know that is 2, even though um, it still follows our rule because we have a positive 6 divided by positive 3, so the signs are the same, so the answer is positive. Okay, let's say now I got to spin a negative 24, and I'm going to divide it by negative 2. So my problem is negative 24 divided by negative 2. Okay, how are my signs? Okay, well I'm going to check, and I see that the signs are the same. So remember when the signs are the same, it's a positive answer. I always like to think two negatives make a positive when we divide, right? So negative 24 divided by negative 2 is a positive 2. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try negative 16 and we're going to divide it by positive 4. Okay. So negative 16 divided by positive 4, if I check my rules, I'm going to see that the signs are different. So right away when the signs are different, I'm going to put a negative there. So negative 16 divided by 4 is negative 4. Okay, so that's your practice for today. Let's clear these drawings and let's go on. This is your homework that I want you to try. And make sure you go back and understand the rules. Same signs you get positive, different, and you're going to get a negative, okay? So something as simple as negative 2 times a positive 2, I could see my signs are different, so the answer is negative 4. So if you follow these rules, you'll be fine. And tomorrow we'll take a look and see why they actually work. Okay, so your homework today is just homework 6. Snap a picture, turn it in, and you're done. Have a great day.